Hey everyone, I'm Dominique, your favorite model coach with Level 21 TV, and today I am here with Monique Douglas, one of the amazing owners of Studio 229 on Brevard. Now, Miss Monique, you have an amazing space here. How does this idea come to fruition? What made you guys open up Studio 229 on Brevard? Well, we say that we're not just Studio 229 on Brevard, but we are where history, humanity, and artistry intersect. So our idea and our concept was to have more than just a studio. My husband is a professional photographer and videographer here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And um, we realized that uh, the mission had to be something bigger than us and our purpose. Yes, we have a studio so that he can make the income, but we also wanted to be a blessing to our community. And so we decided that incorporating aspects of humanity mm -hmm. along with his art, incorporating local musical artists as well as local visual artists, and bringing all of that together in a historic location where we could share the history, honor the history of the work that was done here, and show Charlotte, North Carolina, and really the nation, um, a model of what it looks like when people come together collectively mm -hmm. in order to do something to enhance and improve their community. All of that is just amazing. I mean, I love how you guys are bringing the whole community here together, and you really touched upon the history of this building here. Tell us about that history specifically, and it's almost like a museum. So can you dive a little bit more into detail on that? Absolutely. So Studio 229 on Brevard is actually one building out of three buildings that we refer to as the Brooklyn Collective. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is a collective of buildings that are located in what in the 1900s was known as the Black Wall Street of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And so the building that we are sitting in um, is the Mecklenburg Investment Company building. And that was the first African American financed uh, designed and occupied office building in the city of Charlotte uh, back in the early 1900s. And then you have Studio 229 on Brevard, which is next to it, and that's the second building. And then the third building is called The Grace, and that was one of the first AME Zion churches. It is now this year 100 years old. And so we have these three uh, buildings that comprise the Brooklyn Collective, which is a collective of us who are here to honor the history, tell the stories of what was the former neighborhood um, known as Brooklyn here in Charlotte. And in the 1950s, the, na the neighborhood of Brooklyn um, during urban renewal was torn down. Mm -hmm. Promises were made to that community that were never fulfilled. And so therefore it's a, a, a point of bitter contention here in the city when we talk about that. But what we wanted to do here at the Brooklyn Collective was to focus on the positive side and the good stuff that came out of this neighborhood uh, back in the early 1900s. And so that's what we do here at the Brooklyn Collective. And we want those whose families were from that neighborhood to know that they are not forgotten and that they have a place that they can come and still get, um, be able to reminisce about the history of, uh, of that particular part of our city. An amazing purpose, an amazing mission, how you guys are combining the history here. Now, Kevin is a very famous photographer here in the Charlotte area, and you yourself are an inductee of the Women's Museum here in Charlotte, right? So can you tell us more about your guys' involvement with the community here? Yes, um, so yes, I was inducted in 2018 into the Women's History Hall of Fame in the Levine Museum of the New South. Um, and that was a really great honor, um, along with Congresswoman uh, Alma Adams and, um, and three other uh, ladies here in the community. But um, it was an honor, but it really, for me, was more than just a recognition for myself. It was the fact that the work that I'm doing in the community is respected. Um, I do have a nonprofit, um, and it's, so it was the work with my nonprofit and my leadership in the community. My nonprofit is called the Grooming Greatness Foundation, and what we do is focus on helping uh, our youth to understand the importance of grooming to their future success. And so uh, we do that through workshops, for, through exposure experiences like the theater and uh, curated tours at museums, fine dining experiences, um, galas, 
where they have an opportunity to practice the etiquette um, that they learn throughout our workshops and courses, and doing all the things that help them to take the greatness that they have within and to really bring that to light, but all with a focus on the importance of grooming. And going back to the Brooklyn Collective of these three buildings intertwined and how much amazing space you have here. I mean, just today, I mean, we have a Level 21 TV production, we have an event going on in the other room. How could all of these spaces be utilized in other ways that people might not know about? Yes, so uh, the Brooklyn Collective is actually going to become a membership-based location um, starting the new year. And so what that does is it gives the community an opportunity to feel as though they have a share in what is going on here. So the membership is going to be um, at, at a, a level that will be affordable to those who just want to, they want to be a part of this Brooklyn Collective mission and this Brooklyn Collective family. And so um, that is one way people can get involved. Another way is that we have a number of sponsorship opportunities for uh, companies, for individuals who just want to sponsor a part of um, some of the buildings and some of the programming that we have going on. And they can always reach out to us to learn more about those opportunities. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. Monique Douglas of Studio 229 on Brevard.